our byline is players helping players to succeed. So we are of the mindset that we want to try to give back to the university, the players, the program, to help uplift it to be one of the best, most outstanding, stellar programs in the country. Uh, it's kind of a dual um, purpose, this club. A, we're trying to help the football team raise some money, fill in some gaps wherever they need some help, whether it's equipment or training or summer jobs. And B, is just what you're seeing here, getting everyone together uh, from every generation of players. We will have people here from the 59 national championship team to players who just may have graduated a few years ago. I think this might be our seventh year that we've been in existence as a separate entity. Before that, we were part of the Varsity Club Orange Pack program, and then uh, about seven years ago, we started our own 401c, 501c3 and, uh, and developed into our organization that we have today, which uh, is uh, comprised of 1,100 strong members, uh, former football players, and other folks affiliated with the program. This is basically a thing where we try to keep that camaraderie growing, where uh, where we we found so much success and and, uh, and friendships in the past. Uh, it's been great. Uh, if uh, any young man has an opportunity to go to a good school, have great camaraderie, great fans, uh, and a lot of great backing at Syracuse is where to go. There's something about that bond at Syracuse. I'm sure you hear this with the military and. The football players, that bond you get kind of going to war together on the football field is a really strong bond. So there's players here I might have known a year, two years, three years, 40 years later, it's like we were best friends. You see somebody you haven't seen in 10, 20 years, you start talking and like you see them every day. It's a, it's a very strange bond, but it's one of those things that's uh, a strong bond. The guys that I met here at Syracuse are still on the football team are still my best friends that I have today. And here I am some 46 years later. Now that I look back on it, it's such a thrill to, to be able to play with Ben Schwartzwater as the coach, who was uh, an Army uh, colonel uh, and somebody who really know how to, knew how to lead people and, and bring young guys into the real world, show us how things are done. Uh, the right way, the moral way, the correct way. Football is great, uh, but it's, it's turning uh, each of these young men that he has here, and as Ben Shortswater did for me, uh, into a, a person that has uh, ethics and, and uh, is concerned about other people out there in life. The one thing we always say, we're all orange men, we'll always be orange men. Uh, coaches come, athletic directors come and go, but we're the constant in this, and we're just so proud of our past and our history.